cycle. As Chopper 5 is hovering above yet another police chase in the metro area this afternoon. You're seeing here this white sedan being followed here by police at rather slow speeds through mainly residential areas. It started in Independence, however, uh, basically not too far from the former Blue Ridge Mall. So at this point, they're following through streets really in that area. Could be Kansas City, Missouri. Could be Raytown. Could be Independence. We know this car has at least clipped one car in the process of speeding around trying to elude police. We don't know yet why police are following this car in the first place, but clearly they have a, a good eye on him right now or the person inside this car, and uh, so do we here from Chopper 5. So we're going to stay above this chase now and follow it through the streets here of uh, either Kansas City, Missouri or Independence, wherever it is right now. kind of seems to wind around, again, mainly residential areas, and we've not it's seen extreme speeds as of yet, but uh, obviously a very scary situation here as we approach uh, about the time that kids are being dropped off. Uh, school buses are coming home after the end of the day. This can be obviously a scary scene as um, whoever might get in the way of this could be also at risk. Um, this seems to be the car they are following right now, this white um, four-door sedan. But again, as I mentioned, still unclear very much as to why they are following this car in the first place. There was another uh, police chase earlier today. This does not seem to be related in any way. This one started again in Independence and uh, they have fo been following this car ever since. Does seem to be picking up speeds now as it uh, clearly knows that uh, many people are behind it. I wonder if our Chopper 5 pilot could pull out just a bit. We can see just how close behind our uh, the police are um, from actually getting uh, up to this car, maybe even getting ahead of it, hopefully, as it winds around these uh, residential areas, uh, clearly here a, a cul-de-sac, a, a dead-end area here, not finding a, a way out. Um, this may help police for sure as, as they uh, try to get this car to come to a safe stop here in the streets of... Um, think Kansas City, Missouri by this point. But again, this started uh, across the city line uh, in Independence. We are hearing uh, from our Chopper 5 pilot that this is at 51st and Grand, right about in that area now. If by chance you are in that neighborhood, anywhere near 51st and Grand, this is where you live right now. You may want to stay put, stay inside, just stay away. Uh, there's just no telling, obviously, when police chases happen. Uh, this can be scary for anybody out on the roads at that time, anybody potentially walking on the roads as well. So we're going to stay on top of this thing and hopefully get, it, get to see it come to a safe ending here uh, this afternoon. It is 3.45. The police seem to start uh, chasing this car just within the last few minutes or so. It hasn't been going on too long, but again, uh, every minute that goes by adds to the severity of what could happen here in this situation. We are hearing that... Um, some of our other viewers here are seeing some police cars trying to get ahead of this car right now, rather than so much follow it from behind, trying to get ahead of it and stop it that way. So hopefully that we can see here uh, shortly. Does not seem to be that this person driving this car has a has a immediate place to go. It doesn't seem to know the area too well. Has come into several areas where it has had to turn around and do a U-turn and does seem to at least slow a bit uh, when it comes to intersections. So again, um, they think this is a stolen car, um, and that is why police are chasing this now. Heading now um, towards 40 Highway, so around 47th Street or so. So again, um, right around the Independence area. So it hasn't gotten too far from where it started in Independence. So far, we understand, as our Chopper 5 uh, pilot has watched, uh, it clip one car in an intersection along this way, trying to elude police. Um, we don't think that, that no one was injured in that incident when that car was clipped. But again, this becoming a very scary situation this afternoon. We're going to stay on this now from Chopper 5, if we could, because I'm hoping this will come to an end very shortly here. Um, many cities, of course, have laws in effect uh, determining what speeds they'll chase up to. Um, but And so this does seem to be slowing down. Looks like the car has come to a stop, and someone just got out of that car and is now taking off on foot. Looks to be maybe um, 
a trailer park uh, type area, perhaps, maybe does have a destination in mind. Coming around the backside here, looking for a place uh, probably to hide out. Chopper 5 has a very good vantage point on this person now trying to elude police on foot, having ditched that stolen car there. Um, I'm going to wait and get a better explanation. Looks like he has climbed underneath that mattress there behind the shed. So it looks like, yes, he is hiding under that blue mattress there. Chopper 5, if you could, just stay right above that. Maybe we can even help out the police in this uh in this effort to find him now that he has taken off on foot and, and wandered quite a, quite a ways away from where uh, that car was left. So we'll stay on top of this as well and, and make sure that uh, everyone can kind of come together on this one. So I'm going to wait to hear where exactly this trailer park is, if we can get a better locator here. Maybe we can uh, help out in an effort to find this person uh, eluding police trying to get away with a stolen car. So again, this starting just about oh, 15 minutes ago, less than 15 minutes ago probably, this chase began again, started at, in Independence and meandered its way at points through Raytown and into Kansas City, Missouri. This is not too far from 40 Highway now is where this uh, trailer park is. And uh, as you just saw here moments ago, the driver of that four-door sedan clearly gave up on that stolen car and went on the run, on foot, and has now meandered his way, it looked like a man on foot, meandered his way behind this shed here in that area and now underneath that uh, blue mattress that you're very clearly here, seeing through the trees uh, of this area. So I'm hoping that officers know where he is and can get around to the back of this uh, this home here and, and find this person safely and uh, into custody safely this afternoon. We are now at uh, 349. Again, this started just maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. So we'll wait here, watch from Chopper 5, and see what transpires. At least at one point through Independence, and then uh, many jurisdictions now involved here. Not only uh, Independence initially, but Kansas City, Missouri called in on this as well. And it does look like officers are zeroing in on that mattress and the location of the suspect as they have their guns drawn. We have now at least three, six people here locating this suspect on the ground. Uh, here in this trailer park behind the shed, uh, behind that home there. And it looks to be that he is giving up without incident. So again, Chopper 5 covering this breaking news for you this afternoon seems to have come to um, the best peaceful ending we can hope for. Uh, and looks like, yes, he is now in handcuffs and will be taken at 4 o'clock on our news at 4, as this seems to have now come to a very peaceful ending.